Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to GIMP Core. Today we're going to talk about the ellipse select tool and the rectangle select tool. And although this is uh, meant for new beginners uh, to GIMP more or less, it will be pretty fast paced because there is a lot to talk about. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, tools. Um, they're up here. In your toolbox, here's the rectangle select tool, and here's the ellipse select tool. Okay, so we'll just click on the rectangle one for now. And you can go down to your dialog box, and you'll see all these different features. And you have these four different modes. Feathered edges, rounded corners, expand from center, fixed. You can change the ratio and you'll plug that in here. Uh, and then some other things down here. Okay. And the list goes on and on and on. Okay. So we're just going to talk about a few of these really quick. And then uh, we'll also take a look at the ellipse tool and everything. So. I will zoom out now that you've seen the dialog box here and what it has to offer. So basically, if you're in this mode right here, you can just click and drag, and it'll give you a selection of how or whatever you do. And if you don't like that size box, you can just make a new one, and it'll always give you a different one. Wherever, whenever you make a new one, that'll be your new selection. And from here, different things you can do. Let's say you're on this uh, background right here. You would be able to clear out that area. And go to clear. And you can clear that area out now. And it'll see down to this background area right here. Okay, so you're seeing through this layer down to this one because you've just cut that area out. Okay, you can also do an invert, and now you're not selecting this area, but actually the outside area of that area of that box, and we'll clear that out. And you can see that then. Okay. Now we'll let's go and look at the ellipse tool. Same thing. When you're on this mode here, you can make a selection. And now this is your selection. You can do whatever you want with these selections. You can put yourself a gradient in. You can paint that area. Don't know why it's not showing up on this one. Unless it wasn't selected. Oh. Okay. Can do just as before, clear that area out. Or do an invert and clear on the outside. Okay? Same as the rectangle tool. Go back to the rectangle tool. Now you can click on this mode right here. Okay. Let's take a look at the these features first. All right. So we'll do a rectangle, and we'll do a clear on that. And you can see these nice sharp edges right here. See that? Let's uh, do another one. Well, this time we'll take feathered edges. Okay. Actually, and this time why don't we do rounded corners just to get that out of the way. So now we have 
rounded corners, and feathered edges marked. So if we do a clear on this, we'll unselect this. You can see the difference between these two now. Okay? This one has the sharp corners and the nice crisp line on the side here. And this one's been rounded off and feathered in. And the corners is not are not crisp. We can take a look at this. We'll take out the feathering and we'll do another box so you can see this. This here is one that's not feathered, but has the rounded edges still. Okay? My zoom out is not working. There we go. Okay. So that's a couple things you can do there. Now when you're on this mode right here, on this second box for the mode, you can actually add to this selection. Okay. And whatever you pick will be part of that mode. Okay. You can also go to your ellipse tool and you can do the same thing. You can click on this second mode right here and you can continue to add to this. And it just keeps selecting and selecting. Okay. So you just select and add whatever you want. When you're in this mode this third mode right here, you can actually delete a section. And now it goes up and around and it actually subtracts that area from the selection. And that works also with the rectangle. Take these rounded corners off. Okay. You can also select and subtract right in the center. Okay. See how it's subtracting right there? So if we do a clear right now. This is what we were left with. And as you can see, Everything we were selecting is part of it with the rounded corners on the box, rounded corners on the box, and with the rectangle tool and the feathered edges, both. Here's feathered edges right here. So everything we were selecting on each, each time took effect separately. It did not affect the, everything as a whole. Okay. So that, that's how that works. And then you have this here where we left this section and subtracted that area and it did not get cleared out then. But we can just select that area and clear it out now if we want to. Okay. So that's the basics on that. If you want to make a perfect square You can go to a fixed ratio, okay? And you're on one on one. When you select, you get a perfect square. You pull it out and drag it out, and no matter what you do, it will only stay as a square. It will not go into a rectangle form.
Okay. You can do an expand from center. So let's say we, we know we want to start from this point right here. But we don't know how much it will take to get out of that. How far out we would have to go. So we go like this. And that way, if you had something you wanted to get around on this side and this side both, you can start right from the center and do it that way. You just expand out then. Okay. Same with the ellipse tool. works exactly the same way. You can do a fixed. And when you do a fixed, you'll get a perfect circle every time. It does not go into an oval or an ellipse form. It's, it stays as a circle. And you can do an expand from center on that also. Click and drag out instead of going down. You click and drag out and that will give you your circle and that's where the center is. Starts from the center every time. Okay. You can also change these into paths. Do we have time to talk about that? We have a little bit of time. Let's think about what we should be talking about. I think that's the basics on the ellipse tool. Like I said, it was kind of fast, but you know you can figure it all out. Oh no, we need to talk about this first. Okay, this fourth mode right here. Okay, let's talk about that. We'll go up to tools. We'll move this layer down a little bit. We'll try and get this done in a hurry. And we will go with layer to image size. And we will do an alpha 2 selection. Okay. So as you can see, we have our marching ants and dancing lines right here. Let's go up to our... Oh, if you wanted to change this fixed ratio also for a circle or a square, you can change this fixed aspect ratio. Okay. And actually change that to a one and one. But we're going to be talking about something else here. Okay, this mode here. All right. Let's take a look at what these different modes do when we're in, when it comes to affecting other things and other selected areas. Okay, so we do a box. Let's go to a rectangle, select this first mode, on expand from center. But as you can see, that was what took effect. So now, if we do this, none of the selected letters, uh, I'm not going to have time to describe all this. can't believe it takes two to, tutorials to tell you how to use the ellipse and rectangle tool, but I guess we will. Okay. See, I'm part two of ellipse and rectangle select tool.